Welcome back to Cash Chicks TV. Today we're back with a new video, and it's a video that I've been eager to do, waiting for the month to come to an end because it's gonna be a really good month of sneakers. A lot of good sneakers coming out, so let's just get straight into it. Matter of fact, before we get into it, I just want to say a special thanks to everyone that subscribed to the channel and helped me grow this channel. It's been a really good month. April has been really, really good to me, so I really thank you guys for that. Please, please, let's keep it up. Let's keep pushing. Let's keep grinding, and let's keep getting these great videos out. Uh, let's just get straight to it. So here we are. We have the sneaker releases of May 2020. So let's get into the first sneaker I want to talk to you guys about. It's a very high anticipated shoe. It's coming out May 2nd of 2020. It's going to retail for 200 USD, and that is the Jordan 5 Fire Red. I think I did speak about this before. Um... It was supposed to originally drop in April, I believe, but they moved it to May, and I'm pretty sure this time it will really drop. Like I said before, I'm not really a fan of these. Like, I know that they're hot, everybody wants them, but me personally, they don't look the greatest on my foot. I had them before, and the whole white base 5 just doesn't really suit my style. I had quite a few of white base 5s, and all of them are now not in my collection because I just wasn't wearing them, so I got rid of them. And if I was to get this, the same thing would probably happen. So I'm not going to bother, um, waste my time and get these. But it is a really, really dope shoe. Um, the Fire Red. I really like... Actually, the one I had was the one that was like... It wasn't black at the bottom. It was red. So it was a little bit different. I did like that one a little bit more because they both dropped that month. I remember it was 2014, I believe. They both dropped like a month apart. And I got the one that had the more red on it because I liked it at the time. It looks less white based to me, but still wasn't able to do it. So I'm not going to bother get these either, but they do come out May 2nd, which is pretty soon. Um, they're going to retail for 200 USD. So for Canadian, we're looking at about 250 plus tax. So make sure you guys are on that. If you're looking forward to the getting those, just let me know in the comment section. And let's just get on to the next shoe. So the next shoe that we have is a shoe. I haven't done before and it is a LeBron. It is the Nike LeBron 17 up tempo. And I'll be honest with you, the only reason why I added this in is because LeBron seems to be really excited for these to drop. He is posting it a lot on his Instagram that these are um going to drop, bringing awareness to his shoe that's about to release. And LeBron usually doesn't do that. So I kind of found it interesting and said, hey, let me add it to my uh to my um to my sneaker update on what's gonna be dropping for this month. And to be honest, it is a really nice shoe. Why I usually don't do LeBron's or Kobe's or, or Kyrie's is because they're more basketball shoes. Not more of. They're pretty much basketball shoes. And I'm not really into buying the newest basketball shoes. I do play basketball. Obviously, you guys should know that on my recent video I did on reacting to my college mixtape. But I usually wear shoes that are just comfortable for me on the court. If I see a new LeBron coming out, I don't even think twice about getting them. But... One thing about LeBron's, they're pretty expensive, man. They're the same price as those Fire Red 5s. They're retailing for 200 USD. This is a pretty dope colorway. I like the red. And if you look near the bottom, it kind of has that crystal glare to it. Like, yeah, these are really nice LeBron's. And the back as well looks really nice. But definitely something you will not see me getting. So if you guys are into LeBron's, May 8th, 2020, the Nike LeBron 17 Uptempto will be releasing. So stay tuned for that. Our third shoe we're going to be speaking about comes out the day after May 9th of 2020. And it is a Jordan 1, retro Jordan 1. And it is the Royal Game Royal Black. So this is kind of like the blue ones I dropped, but it's more black dominant. It is going to retail for 170 US. And the resale on these are going to be quite good. And mainly because it's a 1, of course. And to be honest, this is a dope colorway. Um... Not one that I would want to cop. I would. I definitely wouldn't get this one. This is a, a no cop for me. Just because blue, I don't know, man. I have these colors that I just don't like to wear on my feet, as weird as it, it sounds. And blue and black mixture is kind of one of them. I even sold the regular Royals. That's how much I really don't like that colorway of blue and black. I got rid of my Royals. Like, I just don't want anything to do with it. So I definitely won't be getting these ones. But... A dope add to add to your collection. Um, a lot better than what we've seen recently being dropped. Not much heat's been dropped lately. So 
this compared to what's been getting dropped is pretty hot but for me to out of my collection that would be a no-no um yeah, not really much to say about these. They come out May 9th, 2020 once again. Retail them for 170 USD. Make sure you stay tuned to Foot Locker Canada where you can see all the posts of when they're going to, um, what time they're going to release their shoes on the website. It usually is about 10 a.m., but just stay updated with them because you never know. Times and things may change. So let's get on to our next shoe. And we are getting out of the Nike. We're now going into a Yeezy. And it is a basketball Yeezy. It is the Dia Yeezy. I don't know how to pronounce this. Quantum. Yeah, that, these did drop before, I'm pretty sure. They were dropped before. Um, like, he did. I, I, I'm not too sure, but I'm pretty sure it was during All-Star Weekend. Like, that February 14th weekend. Like, Valentine's Day weekend where All-Star Weekend was. I'm pretty sure he did, like, a quick release of these. But now, it seems like they are releasing for real this time for 250 USD. Which is even more... Then those Jordans that we just looked at and the resale is going to be around 485 plus, which is not bad, but these are, these are just a no for me as well, man. These are ugly. I, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, man. These are a really ugly shoe. I wouldn't play basketball with them. I wouldn't wear them to the mall. I wouldn't wear them to the grocery store. I wouldn't wear them to sleep. They're just not going to be anywhere near my collection. Not a shoe I'm really too into or fond of. It's just a pretty ugly shoe. I like how Yeezy is trying to go in the direction of doing more than just um, just wear sh like shoes to just wear outside. Like he's trying to get into the basketball side, which is kind of cool because you have athletes in the NBA that are with Adidas, so they could wear them. But like for this one, for me, I just it's just a little too ugly. It does look like it has a little bit of support, so it won't be the worst basketball shoe. But it's not something I could see me playing with or wearing. So we're going to give these a no cop. And once again, these do drop May 15th of 2020 for 250 USD. So stay tuned for that. And let's get into our next shoe. Okay, perfect. This is a shoe I've been waiting for for a long time. I'm definitely, definitely copying these. And it is the Jordan 5. Top 3 is what I thought they are called. They're saying black. I'm pretty sure it's called Top 3. Jordan 5. Retailing for 200 USD coming up May 16th of 2020. I'm just going to go out and say it right away. Cop, cop, cop. Like, I, lo I love this shoe. Like, there's not one thing about this shoe I do not like. Oh, my. Like, the grape tongue. Oh, my Lord. Like, there's Nike Air in the back. Like, this shoe is flawless. 100% cop for me. Don't need to even go into details. You guys can see this is one of the biggest releases of the month this is the best release of may to me can't wait i have a spot waiting for him right here this empty little thing right here this is where i keep my fives it's waiting for you right here so stay tuned for that definitely gonna have that filled in may 16 2020 couldn't come any sooner for me i can't wait to get my hands on these and that's about it you can already see how much i love these shoes let's go into our next okay so our next shoe it also drops on may 16 2020 i'm not gonna go into each colorway but it is the Jordan 4 that are dropping in the court purple, red metallic, orange metallic, and green metallic. Um, you guys know Jordan 4 is my favorite silhouette. I love Jordan 4s, but this one, this isn't doing it for me, man. This is an all-white Jordan 4 with just, just the colors. Like a little bit of the red, the orange, the purple. Like, I'm not getting these. I'm not into them at all. I like how they're dropping 4, so if you really wanted them... There's a, more than enough colorways for everyone to get their hands on them. But definitely, definitely not a shoe that I'm going to get. I just think I'm not into white base shoes. And obviously, this is a white base shoe, all four of them. And it's just, it's just no. There are dropping for 190 USD, May 16th, like I said before. If you wanted to get your hands on a pair, you definitely would. I think that the quantity will be very well, um, very good for, um, there will be a very good amount of these shoes for you to get so if you wanted them you could definitely get your hands on them i think most people are going to be going after the top three fives like myself that day so plenty of plenty pairs for you to get if me even if you want to get all four i think you would have a good shot if you really wanted to all right so that brings us to our last release of the month and that is the jordan 13 flint now, I, I really thought this was dropping, I don't know if it was the end of April or it was supposed to drop like early May, I'm pretty sure. And they moved it to the end of May. At first, I really did not want these 
But I think I'm going to go and grab them. Because I do like 13s. And this is one of the best colorway for a Jordan 13, hands down. So I think this is going to be a cop for me. I really like the colors that are put together, the blue and the gray. And then the 13, I just really love the tongue. I think I'm going to grab these. These are solid. Um, the resale, as you can see here, is about 420 plus. So there is some value to this shoe. Um, it may not be the easiest shoe to get your hands on. It's going to be pretty difficult. But I think if you're persistent and you're on there early on that website, you should be able to grab it. Like I always say, I'm hoping that when all this is done and Foot Locker is back open and Champs is back open, these shoes are able are on the shelves and we're able to go and buy them. That would be really cool because it's not that easy getting shoes online, man. Stuff goes out of stock. So let's just pray that that happens for us. And yeah, that's it. That's the end of the shoes that I want to show you guys that are dropping this month. The last one we did was for April. You guys show me a lot of love. Seems like you guys enjoyed it. So whenever there's a hot month, I'm definitely always going to bring that. Always going to do a video on that month so you guys know what's going to be coming out for that month. And I think it's just a good thing to do because it lets me, gives me a reminder what's going to drop. Because sometimes I forget. So I can't forget now after doing a video on it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please hit that subscribe button. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit this video with a like. Cash Kicks TV, we out.